cracking hit it you already know what it is it's another one of those tuck you in sip on the little canela chill it's a bedtime story yes indeed i'm about to <laughs> write some graffiti on the bus in a minute we'll start in direct fashion we're gonna get straight to it bedtime stories as you can tell by that thumbnail the double up or do we call it the bubble up i can't call it like an alcoholic but one thing i do know is for sure there was two of them right yes indeed let's write some graffiti so Trip out on this story, right? Because um, I know you guys like these bedtime stories. You're really feeling them. But we're going to get straight into this motherfucker right here. I was in CYA. About 16, 17 years old, I started to notice that, hey, I was womanless around that motherfucker. Homeboys were getting letters every single day. And my stack looked mighty. And I mean motherfucking mighty shout, right? Meaning I wasn't getting no mail other than my familia every once in a while. And they were telling me, what are you going to do when you get out? Poop butt, right? I said, I'm going to go to work, I think, right? Can, can you get my job at Taco Bell? I sure like the Mexican pizzas, right? So then we strip out. I fuck around and I'm and I'm feeding for the flavor. I'm like, fuck. So I'm telling homeboys, they hook me up. Get at me. You know what I mean? Let me know what's up. You got a canala? And of course, the homeboys are feeling highly disrespected. You wouldn't even know what to do with my canala. She's about three, three seventy-five homes. Hey, she paid. She, I said, does she pay like she weighs? What's happening? You know what I mean? More cushion for the pushing. At this time, I'm going to be honestly honest with you guys. I had never even tasted a panoche. I, I don't even know what it felt like. Right? But one thing I did know is that I was willing to try. Mm -hmm. I've always been one of those guys able and willing to try new things. So I was like, Sasuke, what's happening with it? No homeboys were breaking bread like Jesus said. They weren't trying to come up off that. They were holding on like in vogue. So I was like, that's cool. You guys do you and I'm going to do me. I'm going to find my own highness because Sasuke, that's the way I get down. I should have went solo in this shit a long time ago. I said, if I would have known it was like this, I would have did my own thing. Right? Anyways, trip out. So I get at one of my primas who writes me quite frequently. And she was like, hey, primo, what's up? What are you going to do when you get out? I said, shit, same old thing. And I'm getting right deep in the game. She was like, trip out. I got a homegirl that I showed a picture of you to that she's really feeling you. She wants to get at you. I said, well, handle your business then. Shit, ain't nothing to it but to do it. I said, I was uh, inquiring lately anyways. Um, I was getting itchy palms. You know what I mean? It wasn't from the, it wasn't from the chorra. So trip out. Bam. She hooks me up with her best friend. Her name is Christina. Now, I'll say her name, fuck it, because I don't care, Esa. It's on you. You did me dirty, right? So she hooked me up with Christina, and we're riding back and forth, and she sends a picture, and as soon as she sends the picture, I'm thinking about getting her blasted, a fucking portrait of her on my neck. That's how serious it was. I was like, yeah, I was showing all the homeboys, look, look what I got. They're like, she's a high, she's a high limousine. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, she's, a, she's a, a good seven and a half. And I didn't even know what that meant on the Richter scale, but Saskia, as long as she was fine as wine, Saskia was about to sit me some. So it was all good in the hood. Now, about the same time, out of the blue, you know when everything is going good, something always has to complicate it. Something always has to fuck the good shit up. I hate this. It's like, I'm getting money. I'm getting paper. And all of a sudden, I'm counting hundreds, and there's a 10 in there. Now, most people would be like, fuck it. That's extra 10. Now, nah, that fucked up my count. I'm not good at counting. That's I never learned. So anyways, I had to start over again. Mm -hmm. It fucked my whole game all up, right? Anyway, so as I'm writing this line, and we're going back and forth for several months, we're already planning... What we're going to do when I get out. First thing I know is I'm going to the town um, that starts with the M. No, not my dad armor said. Not Mendota, not Manteca. Mamon Town. She's about to give me one of the most meanest Mamones I've ever fucking received in my life. That's a fact, right? So we're already talking about, I wonder how that feels. Girl, she was like, I don't know. You want me to practice? Uh, no. Right? You know what I mean? The stars get fucked up. What does that mean? Right? So anyways, as we're writing each other, of course, here comes a stick in the spoke. There always has to be one. Some chick named Mariela writes me, out of the blue. And she happens to be my prima's prima. No, I wasn't doing the incest thing. Mm -mm, I wasn't that fat dude from fucking Wolf of Wall Street. Fucking dating my own prima's, right? I was dating my prima's prima. Well, I wasn't dating her yet. I didn't even date her. I just fucked her. Anyways, but trip out on this. She starts to get at me too. She was like, hey, my, my, uh, your prima, who's my prima? Hey, look at, uh, ignore all that. What happened? She said, hey, uh, I just want to get at you. Say, what's up? I know you're getting out in a few months. What's good with it in the hood with it? I said, well, shit, the wind's blowing. There's two of you, I guess, right? So I start to play them both out of pocket, I guess. I start to get at one and then the other and then come to find out they know each other, which makes it even a little bit more special, right? You know, it's the forbidden fruit. I said, when you're doing something that's highly forbidden or something that you should never do, 
It's like, yeah, fuck, it's like an escape song, you know? Everybody cheats. You gotta know when. You gotta know how, right? Well, I knew when and how. And right now, the only thing I was cheating with was both their picture. I, hey, well, at one point in time, I had both their picture. I was doing this with each hand. I felt like if I did it with each hand, it wasn't cheating because I was getting the right and the left. They had nothing to do with each other. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang. See how I put that together? I'm smooth, right? So anyways, I'm getting at them both consistently. They're writing me. One's making plans. Yeah, as soon as we get out, it's on. You're going to be my man. The other one, she just wants to do it. And I'm like, yeah, that's the one I want to be with, you know, immediately. Well, guess what? Now comes the day of me getting out. And I remember that particular day because I was supposed to get out on a Monday. And the parole agent called me in his office on a Thursday. And he was like, hey, guess what? I said, what's happening? He's the classic, what's happening? He said, hey, you're getting out tomorrow. You know what I mean? They're going to let you kick, give you a two-day kick. I said, but I thought I maxed out. You did, but the way that it works is we're going to let you out because I'm going on vacation. And I said, man, my pro agents are always going on vacation in my life. Mm -hmm. Bunch of fucking greedy-ass, sneaky motherfuckers, right? Getting all that feria. Anyways, I was happy. I told the homeboy Shorty from Salah, hey, I'm getting out tomorrow, fool. He's like, nah, fool. I said, yeah, we're getting out. And I've told the story before how we did the spread in the day room and I wasn't going to do the spread. We were on Tioga, which was a compa there in Carl Holton. I wasn't going to do the spread unless the Southsiders were able to indulge in their own spread because I wanted it even, Steven. I didn't want people to trip or player hate or, you know, just none of that. I wanted everyone, every Mexicano in there to have love. That's just the way I've always rocked. You know what I mean? Unity. If we can't do ours, then they can't do theirs. Homes. You know what I mean? Because I didn't want to cause no tension. That wasn't my get down. My get down was, hey, it's all good now. Let's keep it all good. Anyways, there, there, you know, there's the feel good story of the shit. This back, back to the pussy. So anyways, right? So I get out. And I remember the first day I got out, my homeboy Monkey and BB and a couple other homeboys picked me up, swooped me up, and I'm living on M Street in Merced, right? It's a notorious, just known, you know, that's that's the street, or that was the street in the 90s, right? So I'm there on M, I'm on M Street doing my thing, chilling, right? And uh, posted up, kicking back, and fucking, uh, I have this chick, Mariela, who's already fucking, you know, she's already got her my prima, she knows the exact day, I was smart, I had told Christina... That I was getting out in a couple of days, right? So Mariana's blowing my shit up. She's already calling the house phone to my homeboy's house. I don't know how she, fuck that bitch got that number. I found out later, right? But anyway, she's calling. Hey, are you there? What's up? What's up? I'm telling the homeboys, tell her I get out Monday. Tell her I get out Monday, right? Because she was expecting me to get out Monday, but she had heard from the Mockingbird, which is my prima, that I was already getting out early. I fucked up and told my tia. My tia told her everybody, right? So trip out. I wanted a weekend to indulge. See, I wanted to have some fever for some flavor. Um, so I didn't want to tell her quite yet. I knew that was on standby. That was automatic, I said. You know what I mean? I was going to get up in that shit like fucking. <laughs> and I knew how to swim. So I was good. So quietly as it's kept, I told the story before. We went out to the drive-in in series that night. And I got the meanest my money that I ever got in my life. And I put it down on some bitch from Molesto, right? Mm, now I'm unvirginized. Yes, gente. Yes. Spencer. I'm a tira guard. I'm a virgin. Right? I was a virgin. Okay? So now I'm in the mix. Now I feel like a veterano. I experienced something, and now hey, there ain't no stopping us. This ain't no stopping. I'm about to get my whole fucking California issue. I need everything. I'm even eating the peaches, right? I'm going to eat everything. Cat food, it all. So here I go. It's uh, that chick who I was with had given me all kinds of hickeys. Okay, I don't know. Who, who was I to say no? Who was I to stop her when she was sucking my earlobe out? Nah, Charlie Holmes, just go with it. That's it. Just go with it, right? Little did I know I was going to wake up in the morning with hickeys all over my neck and I got, oh shit, less than 23 hours till I go meet up with this chick who I'm supposed to be with and live the rest of my life with. You know how it is. Puppy love, homes. All right, Fresno. Right? Some puppy love. I've been telling her all kinds of things. Don't trip me. How When I get out, I'm going to get a car, a job. You know what I mean? She's like, no, you need to get boxers and socks and shoes. I'm like, yeah, that comes next. You know what I mean? I'm all, I'm all fucked up. Disorientated off the pussy, right? So... The homeboy monkey says, hey, trip out. She calls. She's right over here on B Street, bro. We can walk over there. So I'm like, fuck. Hey, what, what am I going to tell her about these? He was like, don't trip. I got a plan. He's like, so look, you're going to tell her when you got out, we're just player hating on you. We gave you all kinds of hickeys. I said, man, I don't want to say a bunch of authors gave me hickeys. He said, it's either that, Holmes, or she's gone. I said, well, fuck that, Holmes. I know. I'm going to take a risk, right? So when we get there, we come walking up. Hey, I'm on my gangster shit. I'm not going to lie. My Mongolian was fucking whipping back and forth like Willow Smith. I thought I was bad, right? I had the fucking white beater. I went on a tattoo in sight. I didn't have tattoos and shit, but I was mobbing all skinny. Fucking white beater hanging off me. I just got done doing a fucking half a quarter century or whatever it was in YA. I'm fucking like, can no one touch me? I'm active as fuck, right? So I get to V Street and it's at her fucking Abuelito's house is where she's at. And her fucking tia and a couple girls are outside. 
And they see me in the hallway walking up and they're like, what's up? And as soon as I hit them with one of these, slow motion hit them. It was over. They went crazy. How the fuck are you going to walk up trying to hook up with my niece with fucking hickeys all over your neck? You're a dog. I ain't from Fresno. Yeah, you are. Motherfucker, look at you. You got fucking hickeys all over your neck. You're all bad. Uh, I, should, I told her she's been wasting her time riding you. Ooh, that's why she slept with the homeboy Mike. Ooh, hold up, bitch. What do you mean she slept with the homeboy Mike? And I already had my hand in my pocket. I was already trying to rub on my, my uh, chorra to get it big because I already knew she was going to grab it, right? And I was like, I took it out. Quit. What do you mean she, she slept with Mike? Well, I'm just saying, though, nah, fuck that, bitch. One plus one doesn't equal two. Mm -mm, not around here. So she comes out all happy. There you are. I'm like, what's up? What? So she comes up to me and give me a kiss. And I, I'm turning this way. And her tears are like, hey, look at his neck. Look at his neck. And I'm like, shut up, bitch. Stop it. You know what I mean? She's touching my shit. So she's already rubbing on my chori. So I'm all happy. You know what I mean? I said, hey, hey. This ain't PG-13. For those of you that don't know, bedtime stories, we get real. So anyways, uh, she's doing her thing already. And she sees my neck. And she pushes me back. And she's like, Oh, you're going to do me like that? whoop de woo woo blah 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 bitty boo 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 And I'm like, well, see, the way my net works, right? Was, and I said, look, I'm going to be real with you. We went to the drive-in and some other high of fucking, you know what I mean? She was getting at me and I already had my hand again, rubbing my chora. You don't understand, right? I was reliving what happened the other day. And so we're arguing, arguing, arguing. I told her, look, hey, it be like that sometimes, man. I can't help it. I look good. And she was like, fuck you. Hey, I'm, I've been talking to a dude named Mike. I said, you've been fucking him too, right? Who told you that? That's a lie. Right? Her tail's like that. I'm saying, no, bitch, remember? Remember? You know what I mean? Put it in your neck. Open your neck, right? So now everyone's nervous, right? So I said, look, we're going to do it like this. Let me get at you later. I'm going to jam. I'm going to scram. I'm going to get up out of here. The homeboy's laughing the whole time. He's like, hurry up, fool, so we can go back and smoke a yak, right? He ain't even tripping off what she's got going on. So I'm like, fuck this bitch. She's like, hey, it's over. Don't even call me or nothing. I said, well, I don't even have your phone number. I'm not. You know what I mean? Write me like you used to. So I take off walking. Well, we go to the fair that night. It's about the fair time. Because if you remember, I paroled July 14th, 1990. Sisnicks, right? 1996. So it's the fair time in Merced. So we go to the Merced County Fair. And psh, I remember I was wearing my white tails. Like an immaculate crease in the middle. My motherfucking three miles were on bangulation. You know, I had baby cuffs sitting on my steroids, still wearing the state boots from Preston that I had smuggled all the way through Carl Holton. How I did that, I can't tell you, right? But I did that shit. Um, I thought I was bad, right? So here we are at the fair. Me, a few of my homeboys, we're kicking back. And who do I see? Who comes walking up? The Heine Christina, the other one I was writing. I said, damn, I forgot all about her. What's happening, right? Now, this Heine wasn't even tripping off the hickey. She wasn't, she already knew. She was like, oh. I see you were with somebody. I said, oh, look, I ain't even going to lie to you, man. You know what I mean? I'll die with you before I lie with you. Look up. You know you know how it is. She was like, nah, I ain't even tripping. What's up? Are we going to kick it tonight? I said, uh, indubitably, right? Needless to say, gente, that night was wonderful. It wasn't spectacular, but it was wonderful. Okay, we end up doing our thing. Now, of course, Mariela calls me. You know what I mean? Are you going to come over? I said, and I have Christina like that. Like, what do you mean? Come where? Wait up. I'm, wait up. I'm coming. I'm coming, right? Hey, you're coming? No, I mean, I'm, I'll be over there. Uh, give me to like, uh, how long do you think it's going to take? Give me about 45, 30 minutes, right? But why do you say 45 then 30? Because I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm, I'm in the mix. Bye. So I continue to do my thing and she was like, who was that? And I said, awesome chick named Mariela. She picks her head up. Little did I know that they were friends yet and amigas. They were the type of girls because they both looked hella good. They were friends in on paper only, but in real life, they didn't like each other. It was like the Cowboys and the Niners. You know, they're both NFL teams. They both play on the same field and shit. But they don't really care for each other, right? Mm -hmm. That's exactly. She was like, what do you mean, Mariela? Her head got up, but she still had my chorro on the choco. And I'm like, hey, um, I don't know if you know her. She was like, oh, no, I know that bitch. Yeah, what are, you, are you fucking with her too? She goes, wait a minute. How'd you meet her? If you just got out, you met me. Is that the one that you slept with? I said, no, no. See, the way that my sleeping around works, right? Boom. So I tell her, yeah, she's been riding me. Ooh, that's my, my cousin's fucking uh, cousin. And she was like, oh, you're a dirtbag. You sleeping with your cousin's cousin's cousin. Listen, I know, don't make me go through it again. I already said it. You know, I, I don't get down like that. Anyways, she's like, I can't fuck with you because you fuck with her. I don't know why Hainas do that. It could have been any other Haina in the world. I could have been fucking Ivanka Trump, right? And she would have been down with it. But because it just happened to be the one chick she was jealous of, mm -mm, right? Don't trip. The wind blows. God knows how to keep them. So anyway, she leaves too. So I was like, fuck it. It's been about 35 minutes, right? I took my own months. You ready to go take a walk? He was like, nah. Hey, fool, what am I going to do? I said, look, we're going to go over here to Tanaya School. Fool, you can plan the merry around while I get on my month. I'm going to twirl like this. Are you down? Right? He was like, fuck it, let's go. 
So we go over there. She comes out, hugs me, puts a jacket. I got you a Raider jacket. I said, damn, my fucker's tight right here. She was like, I know. I understand. You've done a long time. You're going to do what you do. And I said, yeah. And she said, what were you doing right now? You, you know, you were sounding out of breath. Is she were you running? And I said, yeah, I was, I was coming. She was like, what do you mean? What'd you say? I said, yeah, I was running. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, little do I know, she already knows about Christina. Mm -hmm. My prima has a big ass mouth, eh? Even to this day, she fucking still be telling me, hey, you said you were going to bring over fucking a case of water. You did it. What, man? I, you know, stop telling on me. Anyway, so look. She told her, she was like, what's up with Christina? You fucking, uh, you fuck with Christina? I said, well, oh, I wrote her from time to time, but you know, I don't fuck with her. So I'm trying to play them both like, yeah, I know her, but I don't. And at the same time, so needless to say, you know what I mean? I say that to say this. I kept fucking them for several months. Eventually, Mariela broke my heart. Eh? I was getting more involved with her. It's the whole time she was sleeping with the homeboy Mike behind my back. He was pounding that shit too. Because I remember I used to hit it. and thought, I used to hit it right after. And I used to be like, damn, I, was, I don't even feel that. And I'm working with a monster. He was working with the Titanic. I said, he sunk her battleship. She was done, right? So I started to go over to Christina. Well, let me tell you what happens one night with Christina. Because the wind's blowing double. She calls me one night crying, hey, you know, I got into it with my family, nobody in my family loves me. Bitch was always depressed, right? So I was like, you know what, why don't you come over here and, and we'll do something, right? She was like, what are we going to do? I don't know. We'll figure it out, right? So she, I went and picked her up. She comes over and I remember, I remember bringing her into the apartment. Now my homeboy G was there, another homeboy, my homeboy Monkey was there. They were kicking back and when Monkey seen her, I should have seen that dirtbag motherfucker. I got, I got love for you, Monkey. You already know what it is. But his eyes got wide open. He never really tripped. He always had highness. I had highness. It was like whatever, you know? But for some reason, this one, his eyes went. And I was like, I caught it, but I didn't catch it. It was like a fucking orb that flies by. You, you think you see it, but you, you're not sure. So you don't want to say nothing, right? So I was like, hmm. Anyways, we go into the room. And that was probably the most fantastic night I've ever had to this day. Um, that lets all the women know out there. I'm still looking for part two. Like and subscribe. Anyway, so she was doing her thing literally and i was enjoying every bit of it okay it was a wild night we only came up for water once and the homeboy monkey the whole time he was like this on the door i'm over here for i'm watching mike tyson meet up bruce Selden. you know what i mean he was listening in real close he heard everything and i'm sure he did. <laughs> i'm sure he could tell you anyways about that was the last time i seen her for a while i guess we broke i don't even know if we're together you know it's hard to it's hard to remember but also at the same time i wasn't trying to be with chicks i mean i was trying to be with my other one like i said she was fucking everybody and this other one, um, she was about to fuck everybody. So anyways, uh, six, seven months passes, and I'm already with several other hyenas. I think I met my first baby mama. We're doing our thing. And one day I see this chick, and I'm like, what's up? And she's ignoring me. And I'm like, what's up, man? You don't remember me? What's good in the hell with it? She's like, I heard you got a lady. I said, I got a few of them, but I mean, that don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? Today I got time, cuz. Catch me outside. How about that? Right? And she's like, yeah, I got a, I got a man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> You know what I mean? What's that got to do with me? I got a man. I'm not trying to hear that. See? You know, I wasn't trying to hear that. I was on my positive K shit. Like, I, ain't, I don't give a fuck. When has that ever hurt me? She goes, he's from your hood. I said, okay. All right now. All right. Hand back to the pocket. Rubbing all my shit. Right? I said, all right. Uh, So uh, to what degree of from my hood are you talking about? Are you talking about like from my hood hood or just lives in the area? She goes, no. It's your homeboy monkey. Again, let me twirl. I was upset. Right? Not upset at him because I, I understand a player is going to be a player, but I was upset at her because that whole night, you know, when she was out there laughing at his jokes, I thought the, I thought she was extending her shit. I thought it was a little bit left. And I knew when she was sitting like this with her leg up, you know what I mean? I thought he was looking at her shit, but I wasn't worried because her shit was all swollen from what I was doing to it. You know what I mean? You feel me? I'm biting my nails. I'm getting nervous, right? Anyway, so look, they ended up being together for a while. I remember running back into my homeboy monkey, like, what happened for you? He was like, man, she came at me for I couldn't call her like an alcoholic for I gave her. I gave it to her, man. Noodle stop and on a motherfucker direct fashion. Bang, bang, and all that catchphrases you're gonna use in the future. He definitely gave it to her. I was pretty upset. Later on down the line, this is what happens. Let me tell you about her. Mariana turned into a good girl. Okay, now she's all married with her children and she tried to hide her past. One time she see me, I said, What's up? And she was like, Ooh. What are you doing walking? I said, bitch, I'm going into 7-Eleven. My car's right there. She was bougie. The bitch was bad and bougie. The bitch was bad and bougie, right? So she was doing her thing. I forgot all about her. She's probably going to watch this and yell at my prima to yell at me. And guess what? I don't care, right? Bang, bang. Mm-hmm. Times have changed. Call me. Anyways, the other one, let me tell you how she ends up. Spensa la tira. If you thought that was bad, trip out on this one, right? This one... For some reason or another, tell me if this is the craziest story you ever heard. She married her high school math teacher. 
The buff was like 60 something years old. The chick's like 40 right now. Why? You know what I mean? Hey, the bitch is bad. The bitch. I mean, she had a clean ass car. She came to one of my prima. I think it was a baby shower or something. Right there, Merced, bro. I was posted up chilling like that, like a villain. And she came through looking all bad and bougie. What I mean, offset, respects, right? She came through and I was like, damn, look at this chick, right? And I was like, damn, who's that? My prima was like, that's Christina. I said, from the, the one that, the one that damn near sucked, sucked my whole squirt off. She was like, yeah, that's her. Did she do that? I was like, yeah, yeah, she did that. Anyways, um, here came this old ass viejito. She was like, come on, come on, babe. I was like, babe, who's that, her dad? You know what I mean? She was like, no, that's that's her old man. It's her husband. I said, God damn, these chicks I was fucking with, right? Thank God I had me a bad one. You know what I mean? Her nails all done looking like Coco from SWV, black chick. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't discriminate us, right? She was there looking all bad and bushy. The bitch was bad and bushy, right? I was getting mine on. Anyways, you never know how it's going to end up. That's the tale of two chicks and how I worked it. I worked them about that... They worked me out a couple of dollars, now that I think about it. But it was what it was. It ain't tricking if you got it. Anyways, with that being said, that's just another bedtime story. Come fuck with your boy, the gun gun man. If you like it, like it. Let me know. If you don't, we're going to let it go. You know what I mean? Hit me up one time for your mind. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. You get every fucking single thing that you want coming to you because you got that coming, ain't it? Go out there and get it. And if you can get you a couple of them, play it better than I did. Wait till you hear the next story about how I had five in one house and I had to run. <laughs> that was a preview. Anyways, with that being said, do your thing, man. If you like, please hit that like and subscribe with a thumbs up. If not, you can hit me with the thumbs down. Heavy's going to be ahead. That wears this fly-ass new crown. You know what I does. And until then, that's just another bedtime story. Sleep well, hit the bang, bang.